Today, we're going to be continuing our journey in Hacked Duck Life Battle, where my dog can level up all the way to level 10,000. So let's see how easy it is to beat the game now. Well, as you can see, we have unlocked the new area and look at the stats of this start. We have over level 4,000 some of these stats and just look at this weapon. The boomerang does 20,000 damage. There is no way we're going to lose. Even though our levels are way higher than the max, we're going to continue training them so we can absolutely demolish all of the other dogs. And for some reason in the health training, we are literally right a bike as a duck. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but it gives some pretty good experience, so I'm absolutely fine with that. We can also do backflips in this one, and if we die, we just hit our head, which is much better than being exploded by a bomb. Well, next up, we have the power training, which basically means we do more damage. And as you can see, we're in the middle of a volcano right here, and we have to push these blocks. Otherwise, we will not be able to live. Well, somehow we are still alive. We have not fallen down there yet, but it's very, very soon. We're going to fall down there. As you can see, we are now missing one of the... Th oh, no. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, we are still somehow alive, and it looks like, yeah, we're not going to fall down there anytime soon. We're getting so many others. I'm already at level 5,180 right now. Okay, while well, we die. 817 power levels just from that one training. Well, we're not going to do the special training. We're just going to go straight into the speed training so that we can attack even faster. Well, for this training, as you can see, we are literally going through an aerial minefield right now. So if we die, we literally explode our duck, which is way worse than just falling off a bicycle. But you know, if it gets us some levels to carry on with this illegal duck racing, that's absolutely fine. Well, this one gains experience really slowly, so let's just blow us up. There we go, 441. Not terrible, but now let's go and battle some ducks. We've also got this defense training where we just have to protect our head. But as you can see, we are already the max level, so I think we are all good to go. Well, I think we found our first duck to battle. This guy does not seem very nice, so let's just hack and steal his money. Look at his weapon, power plus 18. Bro, we have a plus 20,000 weapon right here. We're going to absolutely annihilate you. So as you can see, we do 4,500 damage and he literally does five damage to me. And also, why did you bring an umbrella to a volcano? <laughs> that is literally the worst weapon you could have brought. But anyway, we just defeated him. Let's see what he gives us. Well, we just stole 30 coins from this guy. <laughs> no, we made him cry. No, I, I feel bad now. So why is there a police person here? This path is too dangerous. You must be more skilled. Are you kidding me? I'm the most skilled duck you have ever seen. Well, this guy just gave me an item for listening to his story so <laughs> thank you i guess well this guy is saying that the weapon of the gods is in this cave so you know i have to see if it's good or not oh no this guy has to be rare but look at his special i made the special zero so that he's gonna do absolutely no damage to me so as you can see because his special comes back so quickly every single attack he's gonna do is just gonna do zero damage well we only have one duck before we can get this weapon i really want to see what this does because it looks super strong well, this guy literally has a flamethrower, so please don't set me on fire. I don't think I'm flame resistant. Let's see how much damage this guy does. Well, he does more damage than most of the ducks. As you can see, he does 13 damage. Honestly, that's a really cool weapon. I actually want this flamethrower now. Well, the weapon is a lightning rod, so we can set our opponents on fire. How much damage this does? Only 24. Okay, I think we need to change that, guys. So I decided to hack the lightning rod to make it have 60,000 power. I'm pretty sure that's going to be enough to absolutely destroy everybody. Well, now that we've destroyed everybody, Everybody, let's go into the tournament and beat up even more dogs. Well, as you can see, the minimum level for the tournament is 210, and we have 21,000. Okay, let's go. Let's electrocute some of these dogs. Well, this guy has another umbrella, and I feel kind of bad. Just look how much damage we do. We, we just did 14,000 damage with this lightning rod. Yeah, I don't think anyone stands a chance. We're just going to electrocute everybody. Is this is this even legal? Am I allowed to electrocute all these birds? I mean, I don't care. Let, let's just win. Well, this guy seems to be infinitely stunning me, so we may have to do something about that. So now I made it so my weapon basically one shots everybody well we got our final opponent he looks like an evil scientist and as you can see we're just gonna one shot him as well so let's go well it looks like we stole 150 coins from this tournament and this guy ducklin waters wants to talk to me you're knocking out these tournaments like they're nothing i see a lot of potential on you i mean i am hacking so i'm pretty good come to think of it i have a new skills teacher okay so he's gonna teach me to climb these ladders as you can see so we can go to the next section and trade our duck to be even 
even more OP. So yeah, as you can see, it looks like we're on a beach now. There's a shop. Actually, let's go into the shop. Let's get some armor because I don't think I actually have any good armor. Well, we bought some clothes and as you can see, I am looking pretty good right now. So it looks like there's a giant pyramid for our next tournament. And there's also a hole in the ground right here. But I really just, I want to train my dog. I want to make the levels go even faster. And as you can see, we just fell through the ground. So there's bound to be something at the end of this tunnel. Well, he's wearing the exact same clothes as me. So let's battle him. And I'm pretty sure we're just going to one shot him again, right? Like this, this is way too OP. I can't believe he is actually battling me with a pie. That is, that is his weapon. He is using a pie as a weapon. Well, he's not going to be able to use it because obviously I one shot him. But still, I really want to get the pie now. Also, if you are enjoying the video, less than 20% of you guys are actually subscribed. So consider subscribing because it's free and it helps out a ton. We have our final duck and it looks like there is an archaeological discovery. But to me, it just looks like there's a hat. Oh no, he's using the spade. Please do not stun me infinitely. It is the most annoying thing. Okay, he's not going to. We do 109,000 damage in one hit. Well, we just got a cowboy hat. How on earth is this an archaeological discovery? Are you kidding me? Well, I see another training booth, so let's train our duck to be even better. Well, in this one, we are not getting exploded, but the buildings are getting exploded, and we have to shoot. I think, are these grapes? I don't even know what these are, but we have to shoot them at the bombs to stop them from destroying these buildings. Well, this is actually one of my favorite trainings so far. Look at that snipe. Look at this. This is actually so far. Okay, well, let's try not to get our buildings hit too much. I think it's when they hit the ground, we die. So let's just not let them hit the ground. Well, I found a new method and it's basically just spamming everything. Okay, it's not working, guys. It is not really working. This is not good. We're going to get exploded very soon. Well, we got a decent amount of levels out of it, actually. So I'm pretty pleased with that because we get levels every single time we hit one of the bombs. So look at that. That is a lot of levels. So just one run. I love how we're literally destroying monuments <laughs> just to get our training up a bit. Well, next up, we have the health training and it looks like, oh, it's bombs again. It's bombs again. What is it with this game? I'm wanting to explode my duck. Well, it looks like we get an absolute ton of money playing this mini game. I don't really need the money because I'm stealing everybody else's, but I mean, every little helps. Are these bombs going to another dock? Is there like an infinite loop of these bombs? Oh, well, it looks like, yeah, we just got exploded, but we got 834 levels. That is a lot. I don't really need more power because my weapon does so much damage. But for some reason, we are playing volleyball in the desert to get our power levels up. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's a pretty cool minigame. The minigames have definitely come a long way from the regular running training in Duck Life 1. That being said, though, these ducks are kind of useless. <laughs> Look at them. What are they doing? They actually suck so much. Well, this duck is actually pretty good. Please, let's not lose on level 5. Oh, well, I died. We got 871 levels. That is not bad at all. I can't believe this. For the speed training, we are not just riding bikes in this game. We are surfing in the desert. This is absolutely amazing. And I can do as many backflips as I want. Okay, maybe maybe not quite. I think I just killed my dog. Well, I don't have the max stats, but let's go into this tournament and let's see how good everybody is. Again, the minimum level is 305. We are already 25,000. We are just so much better than all of these other ducks. This guy looks like a firefighter, but he has a flamethrower, so that doesn't really make much sense. So let's just electrocute you. Let's get rid of you. We don't really need you. Well, normally this guy would have a pretty good weapon. The catapult is actually one of the best weapons in the game, but uh, it, it doesn't matter when I'm hacking against you. Well, now we're facing a clown with a plant as the final person in this tournament. It should be hard. It really isn't hard. I think I, I think I made this weapon a bit too good. Well, it looks like we stole another 200 coins, and this guy is being really creepy. I've been watching you. I I'm always watching you. And you've been doing great. Okay, that sounds a bit better. I've got a new skill to teach you. So it looks like, yeah, we can fly. Okay, that is pretty cool. I don't know how we can fly. I don't know where we can fly, but that is pretty cool. Well, this guy wants me to deliver a letter. So um, let's, let's, let's do that. Oh, so it looks like, yeah, we can fly to a different area of the map. Okay, that is amazing. Let's go back to the farm. I'm pretty sure there is a builder up at the top. Well, this guy has a wheel. I have to spin it. So it looks like the best thing we can get is plus 20 levels, which is the white one right there. But we can literally get 2,000 at the... Please don't give me the plus 20. Okay, well, it's going to give me an item. Not terrible. It actually gave us a lazy gun. That's pretty cool. Well, I believe this is the builder because he did build the bridge. So let's see. There we go. We gave him the letter. And he gives me some rock glasses. Let's let's put those on. Wait, I think these sunglasses are meant for his friend. But you know what? We're just, we're just going to steal them. We're going to put them on because, of course, we look way cooler than him. You really wouldn't guess that this duck is a hacker. Just look at him. He looks so innocent. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like. And if you watch this part of the video, just comment duck in the comment section. And I will see you guys all in the next video. I hope you have an amazing day.